So for this FA test question, we're going to be tackling the question that begins with the Elizabeth City VOR, which is right here. So this is the Elizabeth City Airport. Now there's a VOR co-located with it, and you can tell that it's co-located with it because the VOR has the small, the small dot right there. You can kind of see there's the there's the little dot right there on the bottom there. So you know that the VOR is right at the airport, right? So in the question, the test question will say something along the lines of you know your your VOR is tuned to the Elizabeth City VOR, right? So you know you're, that we're working with this VOR right here, and uh, you know the, the Elizabeth City VOR, you know the frequency you tuned it to, it doesn't matter here because the the question just told you you're on the Elizabeth City VOR, um, and the aircraft is positioned over like it'll give you like a place, right? Like it might give you like South Mills, or it might give you like like I don't know these towers or something. But in this question, um, what it's going to give you is the, this town. Okay, it's going to give you the town of Shawbro. So it says you're positioned over Shawbro. Now, Shawbro, this is the this is the name here. You can see Shawbro, but it's not going to be it's not going to be like a lot of people might get confused. Like you know, some people might think that means this airport because Shawbro's name is right above this airport sign. But actually, this is the Currituck County Regional Airport, ONX. So it doesn't mean that. What it actually means is the town of Shawbro, which is right here. Okay, so there's Shawbro, but the town itself is right about here. So now we got to figure out which radial we're on on the Elizabeth City VOR. So the way you're going to do that, I'll go ahead and use some green here, some green for this VOR, is you just go right here and you kind of just draw this, draw this radial coming out. I'll use yellow, that's fine. Yellow coming out to Shawbro and... We know we're right about there. So which rate are we on? So we got to kind of figure this out. So we know we know that right here is zero degrees. You can see zero here, and then it kind of you kind of got to jump over these like these like little ticks, right? So we know that like the first one that's going to be ten degrees, that one's going to be ten degrees, and that one's going to be ten degrees. And you also have this other indicator that's really nice, that's helpful. Is see the little arrow right here? Anytime you see an arrow, you know that it's it means every 30 degrees. So there's an arrow here. Notice there's another arrow right here. That's 060 radial, right? Um, so every 30 degrees, unless you run into one of the ones that's like, like this one's nine, that's the actual 90 degree radial that comes out. Uh, it doesn't, it's not gonna have that because it's got the nine. So, but now you know that this is the, we're on the 030 radial, right? So that's good. So we know we're on one of the radials, but we're right on it, right? So this is good news for this problem because what we can do is we can take away, we can take away some of these answers that we know aren't right. So how are we gonna do that? What we're gonna do is we're gonna X some of these out that we don't need. So are we off course? No, we're right on course, right? Because the, the VOR comes out right here, the, the radio comes out and we're on it. So any of these that say you're off course, they're not gonna be it. 210 off course, nope. 030 radio off course, not it. How about 210 off course? Nope. So you can kind of just mathematically like eliminate some of these possibilities here. Now you're really getting down to, to only a few options. So this is already starting to look pretty good for our odds of getting this, right? So now we know we're on course. Look at it, on course, on course, on course. But are we on the 210 radial, right? Are we on the 210 radial or are we on the 030 radial? Well, we're on, we're definitely on both of those, right? We're definitely on both just because we know that the, the way the radials work is they, they extend, you know, through the, through the VOR, right? So if we were on the 210 radial, like down here, that 210 radial still extends up through to Shabra, the 210, right? That's just going to be a 210 radial. You're going, you know, to the VOR. You got to go to the VOR to get to that 210 radial, as opposed to the 030 radial right here, which is coming out from the VOR. So from the VOR 03 to the VOR 210. So we're looking at this and... This makes this makes a little bit of sense right here, right? So we got a two one, a two one, and a three and a three. So they're going to give us two of each of these options. Now what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate the ones that don't make sense. So we know we're zero three zero radial, right? Zero three zero radial. And this one's coming out from the VOR, so it's from the VOR for for the for the zero three zero. So on this zero three zero radial that has a two right here, what are we going to do with the two zero three zero radial? See ya, right? And what are we going to do with the the uh, zero the two one zero radial from. See you later. So we actually only have two options for this question. Okay, we know that it's one of these two options. We know it's going to be either number five right here, or it's going to be number nine. And how do we decide? Well, if you have only been given the amount of information you need to narrow it down to two options, the FAA knowledge test will have A, B, and C on the test, right? And you will only be able to choose one of nine or five. So for example, because those were our last four, right? Nine, uh, two, eight, and five. So because those were our last four, it's going to say something like A is two, B is eight, 
and C is nine. Or that's just an example that I kind of just made up. But if that's your examples, you know, you can't choose five. You can't choose five. So just choose nine. You know, you're on the course. You know, you got the 030 radio from the VOR, which makes sense because 030 radio starts right here and it comes out from the VOR to Shawboro. And you know, your answer is nine. And you're one step closer to getting your license right here. Pick number nine. And the other little part I want to reiterate here is don't mix up the town of Shawboro. Okay. The town of Shawboro versus versus this airport right here. Okay. So the town of Shawboro is right here. This is the town of Shawboro. Now the, the name's right here and it can look like it belongs to this airport. But remember airports, airport names are always, they're always in the, in the magenta font there. So, all right. So good luck with that. That's how that question works. And I hope you guys pass your tests.